Hello, hello. Hi, guys. Welcome to K&A's Hot Mess Express. I'm April. I'm Karen. This and is Cocoa Bean. Cocoa Bean here. And this morning before I came to Mom's, I ran really, really quick and didn't tell anybody that I was running to Aldi because there's a group on Facebook, or nu numerous groups, and they are called the I uh, Aldi Isle of Shame. I don't know why it's called Isle of Shame. I don't I'll tell you. I don't know, but... Isle of Bargains. They have a bunch of bargains. The stuff is out for... Um, for like the holidays now and I uh, belong to these groups so they were saying like get there as early as you can this stuff like sells out fast so I went there and picked up a few things that I needed just because I know it takes mom longer to get ready than me so <laughs> a little more high maintenance we're doing we're doing an Aldi haul and these right here were what so cute people were fussing about Perfect and I for use a that little one or if you just want a small drink I use that nicely um, I'm gonna let Olivia pick which one she wants but they are 16 ounce 16 ounce thirst crusher 2.0 tumbler adventure ridge and they're just tiny little ones they're not spill proof so if you take your straw out it doesn't make and it doesn't say on it anywhere on there that they are spill proof but it does say that they can double wall vacuum insulated great for hot and cold beverages and condensation proof <laughs> what a, the sink gurgling you're and doing always, laundry <laughs> always uh, 5.99 a piece I love it though. I wouldn't change it for the world. They have the bigger ones, and mm -hmm. I they, got a bigger one. Okay, so she she got a bigger one, and they're seven ninety nine a piece. Seven ninety nine. Did you get a bigger one? I put one of yours back, unless you got two. I don't know. I thought I did. If I didn't, I was stupid because I really wanted one. Because I think you decided against it and said you oh, could get it another well, time. I'm gonna have to go back. Might be wrong. Might be wrong. Um, the other thing that people were going absolutely um, I'm real viral about are the Huntington Home Swedish Dish Cloths. Four pack, eco friendly, ultra absorbent, multi purpose, machine washable, and dishwasher safe, odor resistant, safe for all surfaces. And there is four of them. And are they Christmas prints? They are Christmas prints. They had a gingerbread, uh, they had a a few different ones that oh, these are mine so you can pop them open oh how cute they're kind of um stiff yeah rough feeling but i imagine once you get them wet and i, I mean if you want to pop over if you want me reusable to wet one, and see how they look wet if you want to put her down she gonna get mad though. oh well she'll just have to get right back up here with me and these were four ninety nine. If I didn't say that, let me take one and see how they do. So yeah, they're they're in what they call the Isle of Shame. Oh, that one's a different one, different design. I like the little um, gingerbread looking house. Oh, that's yeah, cute. Those are cute. Oh well. And what I really, really wanted, because I've wanted one of these forever, is is a salt and pepper mill set, and it comes. It's built-in light, easy one button operation. The batteries are included. It's got 12 batteries, AAA batteries that are included and a three year warranty. And they had uh, silver, or is it silver? Y yeah, oh. there was a black and a, a gold. Black and gold, and then, and then the silver. And then they had these. Those are gorgeously beautiful. I'm almost regretting not getting that color. They're so pretty. And then, come on. Pops off there. $9.99. I just, they're gorgeous. They, I just, and they come with the batteries. So, and you can't go wrong there. Yeah, that's nice. I think that $9.99 is a Here's great your price. cloth. Oh, oh, that's softened right up. Yeah, it feels like a real thick washcloth or an extra heavy-duty thick napkin. I didn't want to pull on it in case I would have ripped it or anything. Does it? Did Did you say what they were made out of? No. Does it say what they're made out of? I'm sure it probably does. It probably has to. Cellulose fiber and cotton. Oh. 70% well, cellulose fiber. That's nice. That should be biodegradable 
Is that the purpose of them? Eco-friendly. Yeah. And then, these are going to be all the rage. I've seen them places already. They are, a, this is the cheapest place I found them, is at Aldi. And they are called Furby Furblets. This one's name is Starly. And if you are uh, my age, I mean, I'm 39, and I had a Furby growing up. My brother still has his, fur his Furby. And these are little, I'm not going to open this because I'm going to give it to Liv for Christmas. So hopefully she doesn't watch this. But they're just little bitty Furbies. And if you get more than one, they'll talk to each other. And they're $7.99 at Aldi. Furbies There's, used to creep me out because they would know things. Now it's just your phones and the internet. that Everybody knows everything. <laughs> they know everything. Sometimes I think they know my thoughts. These were $1.89. Holiday cranberry wax melts. They didn't have any wax melt things, did they? They did. They had San they had a whole bunch of them, different Santa Clauses and like the the warmers. Yeah. Yeah, they were full of them. But I read in lots of comments that said that they're oh, okay. I remember you yeah, saying that. That they're cute and stuff, but the um, bulbs were not quick and that they're more of an expensive type of bulb. So one eighty nine smells divine. <laughs> I may, I may go back and check them out and see what kind of battery it takes. This sucker's heavy, but wrestling season is upon us starting. I think Chase starts like this Friday for... Mm. Right after school for practice. These were $9.99. And they are rings. Weighted rings. Weighted rings. They're you so can do heavy. weight training with... What are the different poundage? Five, eight, and ten. Let me show you. They're like rubber grip. I just shook the whole thing. Really, gr really good grip on those. And you can use them different ways. I don't even know if I can put that thing back Here, down. Let me have it. Did I've I say they were nine ninety nine? Yeah, probably think so. All right, check that real quick. These were three ninety nine. I bought the last two. Yes, I did. I did. They are tarps that are heavy duty, one per package, all purpose tarp. But they show that like covering a grill, or we don't have like a garage, so I can put all my kids' bikes and see how many I can fit under one of them. Does have dimensions on them. 10 foot by 12 foot. So well, that's nice. That's, that's I'm nice. I'm going to get all their bikes under that. Yeah, probably. And then I got a blue one here. That's pretty color. And in five seconds, my alarm's going to go off. So I'm going to stop that. Or did I already stop it? Oh, I think I did. These little cute containers. They were on clearance for $249. Were they really? Yeah, I bought the last two. Okay, so I'm, I'm sorry. All right. I normally don't do that. I really don't. But we have a very nice kitty, and she's sweet and lovely and awesome. But she like tries to rip into bread things. Yeah, yesterday in Walmart, she found Snickers jumbo jumbo size candy bars for forty nine cents. She bought two, one for her and Rodney, and there was two left, and she left them. And I'm like. We were already on the way out, and I'm like, girl, Kevin loves Snickers. But we didn't go back in and get them. She was being so kind to let make sure somebody else got that bargain. I was, and then I think, oh, these people swear by these too. Are you going to open those or not? They are fresh deli pickles, deli pickle chips, and they were free. Three seventy nine. I'm telling you, when you get on this like aisle of shame, oldie sites, and people tell like, you what's good and what's yeah, not, right, what you need to buy, rate all you don't of their have products. To open them if you think it'll leak to get it home, yeah, live a little, we're fine. Oh, there goes the juice on it. May I? Oh, they smell good. I love Jim pickles. Oh, those are good. Mmm. 
Mm-hmm. Those are as good as the Clausens. Mm-hmm. Delish. Sorry, crunchy. crunchy. Right. I was going to put them back, but I'm like, nope. I really like pickles. Me too. And you can sip the juice for added electrolytes for cramps and so on. And that same thing is good for Ruffler. This was a really good bargain, too. And she showed this to me. Mm -hmm. This is a boneless pork shoulder roast with barbecue seasoning. Uh, two ninety nine, two thirty nine a pound. So this was four sixteen. And Andon loves shredded pork nachos. Oh yeah, and I was gonna uh, say that would be perfect. Tacos, yeah, but nachos, yes, ma'am. That sounds super duper good. And that's quite a bargain. And then I have, I do believe, one more thing. And then I'm going to let you go on without me for just a minute. While okay. I... Oh, I got this for 59 cents because we, um, she, I wanted to see if it would fit Coco. Um, it was left over from Halloween. And this part goes around their neck. And then their little, their little feetsies go in there. Oh, yeah, she'll love that. But for... 59 cents. I thought we're not yeah. out anything. I looked at them, but they all look so tiny. How does it go? Over her like, like this. this? On the front of her. Oh, the O1 goes on the front. It goes on the front, and then her paws go through the thing, but she wouldn't let me. She was just trying to roll over and play. And then this I got for $3.99, which I think is a phenomenal deal. And it is so cute. Oh. It's a Huntington Home Kids wall hook. Yeah, that is cute. There's a lot it's you can do with that. It's really good quality, and they can hang stuff on oh, it. Such a good girl. How cute is that for $3.99? That's phenomenal. So I think all together today, with everything that I got, the first time I went was thirty nine fifty one. Did you get it on her? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not one of those mothers. I never dress my dogs like that. I know it's slippery. But it's so cute though. It actually does fit her. Even if you put Hello, it on her for a little walk outside. Yeah. That's what I was thinking for this winter. Because we go for yeah. walks every day. Thirty nine fifty one the first time. Because it sucks you in once you get there. Their bargains are just phenomenal. And the second time that I went, I ended up spending $40.20. But, like, the rings were $10. And, you know, all the little stuff adds up, believe it or not. I got I actually got mm -hmm. a can of cream and chicken and soup. And, um... A chocolate bar from I think it said Poland. Yeah, and I she can't find. Give me a piece of the chocolate bar because yeah, my sugar is dropping. So I'll get my stuff out of the way. Okay. And then <laughs> I'm gonna run downstairs. Okay. She's gonna work on her laundry a minute. And I'll be back. And I got slide you a little bit right here. This was the chocolate bar for ninety nine cents. I've got some celery, I thought, with Thanksgiving coming up. Um, I can't see how big it is, but it's a whole stalk of celery. Oh, watch her. She's trying to move around. Coffee, 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 roast. Breadsticks close. Hi. <laughs> Lady, celery leave you hanging. 95 cents you can't beat that oh, that's a bargain yeah and i like celery with peanut butter and then i got some of these it's the egg life wraps um they have eight grams of protein in one wrap and there's no sugar oh good girl she jumped down and there are 
six of these wraps, and I think they were $4.99. Let me look here real close, guys. Um... Let me look for one of the most expensive things. Yep, four ninety nine. And I bought Kevy Poo a half a gallon of milk, and it was a dollar twenty four. And then I got one of the barbecued pork shoulders, too, to shred up for Kevin. $3.49. Now, you shred this up, and you're going to have a lot of nachos, a lot of tacos, a lot of pulled pork sandwiches. So, for $3.49, that was a bargain. And I did buy two. Just because maybe someday when I'm feeling better, I can taste it. I don't know. There's no sugar in this. So in this barbecue sauce, kudos for them. There's no sugar. That's hard to find. And this one was $3.39. And then I got me some half and half. I put two tablespoons in my coffee. And two tablespoons is only three and a half grams of fat and no sugars and it's just milk and cream so you can't get any better than that and I bought some whole whipping cream and I'm finding out I like the half and half better and girls let me tell you ladies and gents we were out running around and it's a little windy so I'm pretty windblown today oh here they are they have avocados for 69 cents and I love avocados and I've got some lettuce and some romaine and I'm going to make a big old salad um they were 69 cents I don't know if I said that or not let whoa don't you fall off of there let me put these back away so how's everybody doing today everybody feeling good let me tell you something girls and gentlemen keeping it real I got to feeling kind of nauseated yesterday. I made me some homemade lemon curd. And I goofed up on the recipe, to be honest with you. It's the kind you cook on the stove. And I read through the directions, got everything out. And as I was cooking it, I thought you added the butter to it as it's cooking. So I did. And then I was looking back over the directions and you're supposed to pull it off the heat and melt the cold butter in it. So I got a little bit more cold butter and melted it. And I used part of it as a, just like a custard pudding to spread on something or whatever. And the other I made in to ice cream for a cre creamy for my treat at night before I go to bed. It wasn't the full pint. I only me, made that much. I ate it. I went to bed and there wasn't a few minutes later. I had bariatric surgery, so I've got to be real careful with my fat. I should have known better, but I thought since I had divided that pudding up into three different servings for pudding and one little serving for the ice cream that it wouldn't affect me, it did. I barely made it upstairs. Yeah, you poor girl. And I was bringing it up and out all at the same time. You were so, so sick. TMI, but you know what? We said we keep it real. I was sick. Okay, today though, mocha flavored coffee. It's just flavored. There's no sugar added. And these are like $4.35. $4.35, so it's a little bit cheaper than Walmart. These, I wanted to get some of those too, but they didn't have my size. I got men's, $3.99. They're the Touch Driving Gloves. And I'm always Jump in up. the market for a good, tight-fitting pair of gloves like that. Because with the Raynons not getting the blood circulation to my fingers, 
a nice thin pair of gloves that I can do things with and it was helps. Cold in there. And it was cold in there. So there's that. FYI though, to my friends, sorry, that's my husband. Oh, I did get the green one. FYI to my friends though, I would normally not spend $80 at um, Aldi's for stuff like this. So that included Christmas presents and stuff. I got one too. I guess I must have decided I like the green color too. And it's the salt and pepper shaker. Did you see how much say how much these were? Nine ninety nine. Nine ninety nine. Comes with the batteries. Yeah. Coco, honey, get up here. But they are beautiful. It's the grinders. And I love salt grinders. I'm just not as good as you. And she then does not want to sit on my lap. April found these for me. Gluten-free breadcrumbs. I was shame. They're the ones that I can put me. these on top of my gluten-free macaroni and cheese I'm making for Thanksgiving to see if anybody knows it's gluten notices and they that have it's gluten-free. We're having a contest. Minimal sugar. Yeah. Um a fourth a cup, one gram. One gram of sugar in that. And gluten free, so that is perfection for me. I'm curious, so curious when you bake with those. I want to see. And then I got me some Christmas mugs. Let me tell you, when I went there this morning at 8 30, the whole thing was full. When we got there just a little bit ago, three. what am I missing? Was there anything nope, else? Nope, there you was know? just three of them. $3.99, right? And that they're the Crofton. I love that Croft and Me brand, too. you guys. Love Their it. bakeware and pots and pans is phenomenal. Uh, high grade. Love. That's that one. They're so cute. And I just love snowmen. My husband's already There's started. Little snowman. Started Christmas videos already, so. And this is really pretty. A little Christmas tree. And then I bought this. Like we said before, though, I'm going to post this one immediately, um, even before I leave here in like 20 minutes. So we get out of, um, hopefully we're done by then. Because these sales just came out today. And they go fast. On so. Wednesday the 13th. And it's 1.41 in the afternoon. So if you get a chance, like I said, our videos don't always go in order. They're always within a, a timeline that's fine. This one's got to go out today. I've never bought Red Bull before in my life, ever. These were what, $2.35? $2.19. $2.19. I just wanted to try them. They had one other one that wasn't sugar-free. Did you show that? No, I actually put that back because I put oh, like, did you? all in the right spot, put like things back because oh, I yes, had to did. weigh my options. So things. we're going to taste this. And it's strawberry apricot. And a, a chocolate bar was more than... Go Red Bull. Tell me. I think it's a love-hate relationship with Red Bull and people. Mm -hmm. Well, they hit the mark on that one. That's Ooh. delicious. No, I'll never buy it again because I'm not going to pay that much for a drink. Girl, that's yummy, though. That, that would is. be yummy even watered down. Mm-hmm. And it's a small can, too. And it's sugar-free, strawberry, apricot, energy drink. So be careful with these guys. Some yeah. of this energy stuff in here people can't handle. I'm having another sip. Yeah. Go for it. Go for it, girl. Get your energy on. Um, pineapple in its own um, syrup, which is 17 grams. So I won't be using these, but I'm making baked sweet potatoes for Thanksgiving. And... This oh, will go in the sweet potatoes. Dollar twenty-five. Dollar twenty-five. Pretty good price. And then, what were these? Three ninety-nine. Yeah. People this is, um, are raving about this. The only reason I bought this is because April said they were raving about it. They literally this did. This is the micro blade effect pen. And some places don't even get makeup at all. And I got a medium brown. And some of them have the clear too. As soon as they are up and operating, there's a place here in town where I do my hair, get my hair done, that are going to start doing the eyebrows. Now, I already put some gel on mine today, and I can't... Well, let's do it this way. No, Lumi. There's a train coming through. Okay. Really? If you do it really, really... These first ones... I was pushing too hard, and I got one line. 
this one really gently. Get my head out of the way. Um, you can't see it, but it makes the three lines. Now, I'm wondering, I've heard people say they used these before and they turned green. Oh, that so, brand? Well, no, just in general, this kind. Well, that one, people swear, stays on a long time. Yeah, it's supposed to be 24 hour. It says, creates a microbladed effect that lasts up to 24 hours. Waterproof and smudge proof. Easy to find. Makes brows look natural-er and thicker. Lots of comments on those. Okay, I found these. These are zero sugar additives. And it's probably a knockoff of the Mia. This Mio. one is, yeah, Tropical Punch. And they actually have stevia, not sucralose. So I jumped on those. That one's Tropical Punch. This one is Black Cherry. And it says right on there, stevia. Lemonade. I've been on a lot of lemon kick. And how much were these? A couple, $1.79? That's really cheap. Mm -hmm. $1.79 for those. You had to watch, though, because they had some mixed in that had sucralose and some that had sugar. So you got to be real careful with your shopping. I love that. And then I bought this. I've got a gray love seat. Remind me how much that was. $6.49. I should have bought more than one. It's just the back, the seat, and the arms. And you see that dog sitting on there? My love seat has been claimed by little Coco. Bring style home. It's 58 by 73. Water repellent, anti-static. Stay put. Stay put fasteners, machine washable, protects furniture from stains and pet hairs. And it's really it's soft. soft. And it's gray. My couch is a real dark gray, but this will really complement it. And I do believe those are on clearance, too. Ah, oh, that's a... Heck. I almost said a bad word. That's a Hello Kitty of a deal. Hello Kitty of a deal. Okay, that's that bay. I think I showed the mocha coffee already. Yeah. Showed the gloves. Let's see what we got in here. Ooh, I like oh. these, too. Funny story, though, seriously. We just got back from Goodwill because my son starts his um, job soon and he needed a pair of dark denim jeans. He does not wear jeans at all. So we had to go and buy him a pair and I found a pair for $4.99. And while we were at Goodwill today, there was one of these there, this exact same thing, for $4.99. <laughs> Would we pay $6.99? But it was worth it for me. I've got a spice caddy between my stove and the counter. I have to pull it out every time I want to get a spice. I use garlic, cinnamon, minced onion, onion powder, onion salt, and um, a citrus seasoning all the time. So I thought I could put my favorites and display them like that. So, yeah, that's that. That's so funny, though. Yeah. She showed but, it to me. But yet, there was a Dollar Tree um, Thanksgiving, the little ceramic Thanksgiving loaf pans that you can get for $1.25. They had it for $1.99. Yeah. Their pricing is just so, so up and down. Yeah, there's that. I like those. I think and then Kevin cute. doesn't know it. Don't watch this, kid. <laughs> he won't. Unless I make him sit down and watch it. Bless his little heart. Kevin, for years has gotten me a blanket every year at Christmas, and I cherish the blankets that he gets me. I'm 39. He's been with my mother and a part of our family for 20 plus years. 25. I, I have a lot of blankets. We had our 25th anniversary in August. So he doesn't know it yet, but he got me a rice cooker and steamer. He has to go out by himself. Every Christmas Eve, and he buys something for April and something for CJ just from him. And with April, it's always blankets. So she does, she's got more blankets than she'll ever use. She wanted a rice cooker. Now, somebody tell me, um, what was this, 19? Is it 
the rice cooker that you can cook the hard boiled eggs in and they peel beautifully? $19.99. $19.99 for this. And it's a 20 cup rice cooker. Her kids love rice. Like I, like I said, since I am posting this today, Miss Terry, thank you so much for sending me a friend request on Facebook. That absolutely made my day. Yes. And if anybody else wants, sorry, folks, if anybody else wants to, um, I'm on there as April Hagel Sump. And let's be friends. Kat asked if we have a P.O. box, and we don't. So Should we get one? That's what I'm asking. Should we get a P.O. box? Is there anything you guys know any reason why we should have a P.O. box? Did you, do you want to send us a, a Christmas card or something or anything or stuff? You know, anything like that. I'm not asking no. for gifts. We don't need anything. I do like Christmas cards, though. But Christmas cards would be great. So if you want, let us know in the comments. This was good, Will. 99 cents. Bargain. And it's a little Christmas cup. So I'm, I'm getting my Christmas cup collection of coffee cups caught up. These I've bought before. I've stayed away from them for a while because I eat too many of them. They are Evelation. They're delicious. Snack bars, keto, three carbs, seven protein, and two sugars in the whole bar. And it is a Baby Ruth bar, out and out. And I just want to point out that my surgery will be um, five years in December. And I'm still continually losing weight. But in a, a food addiction, it just, it never goes away. No, it doesn't. You Mine have, hasn't. You have to be mindful, and you literally have to be mindful. Like, you have to say, is it worth it? There's days where I am super depressed, and I will grab a Snickers bar, and I will eat it. Do I feel bad afterwards? Absolutely. Um, I don't really feel guilty, but my belly hurts. Right. Just because, you know, I'm allowed to eat, just period, I'm allowed to eat. So, everybody has off days, and we... We, we're always honest with you guys. And we I'm real careful anxiety. with what I eat. I don't get a lot of fat. I don't cook with a lot of butter. But I wanted to make that homemade lemon curd. It just sounded so good. And it was delicious. And I've never been so sick. Well, I have been. But um, Not hitting so... It's called dumping syndrome. I've only had that twice with my bariatric surgery. It's a surgery. real thing. People and talk about it all the time. It's a real thing. It was bad. It was bad. It's very so Ill. there's five of them in here, and these are cheaper than the ones at Walmart. You want to see if you can find them, honey? And I'll sure. see what else I've got. Um, caramel cappuccino for Kevin. He likes his cappuccino. These are four thirty four, and then there's a vanilla five oh nine cappuccino. Yeah, five oh nine. That's a good price. And then I got a. I really like dark, dark, dark coffee so there's a midnight coffee and then I don't know why but this only has three sugars in one and a half cups and I'm gluten free and this just has the rice um it's rice squares you know like what, what were they called before um what was the name like in Chex Mix or yeah Chex Mix and I thought these might be pretty good for um, just snacking on a little bit if I want some. Those were two seventy five, and your coffee was four thirty five. Yeah, two seventy five. So that's not bad for a big box of cereal nowadays. And this serving's one and a half cup, and I'll just grab a little handful. So, and and that's all I've got, baby girl. I showed the rice cooker and everything else so well, wonder and her nations there we're we done go. with this one cheers i'm gonna have another sip of this cheers i want another sip too so yes today is wednesday november 12th out of order videos we've got three or four that we've actually literally just made here within the last couple of days we're just going to get them piped out of here because holiday season's coming everybody's getting busy yep and we kind of just want more subscribers because i'm excuse me i am funny guys <laughs> She is. She doesn't get it from me, but and she is. Cute and nice. I and watched sweet. these back, and with both of us having ADHD, we do interrupt each other a lot because we're afraid we're going to lose the thought before we can get it out. It's me, right? She does that. I'll look me. back and yeah. I'll see her behind me making oh, faces. God, it's me. <laughs> 
<laughs> rolling her eyes and oh, she, oh okay. let's take a look at this i wish i knew Ooh. how to make that focus better you just got to hold your hand back a little bit further maybe not that far goodness all right girl <laughs> it's so, still there so yeah good deal <laughs> almost <laughs> took her out Oh, you're so warm. Me and oh, she's so warm. Which is very rare. Yeah, very rare. We both always have cold hands. Yeah. Something else I wanted to say. I have always heard make har making hard-boiled eggs in an Instapot was the way to go, okay? So I've I haven't used my, I've been here almost two years next month. I haven't used my Instapot since I've been here. Just been busy. I pulled that down and wanted to see how the eggs would cook. I googled it. It said five minutes under pressure, five minutes letting them sit there unsteam, five minutes in cold water. That sounds like what you would do with a, a, a person like after a workout. You go in the steam room, then they chill out, <laughs> ice water dunk. <laughs> Ooh, not me. I did that, guys. These things peeled so easily and beautifully. So I thought, I'm going to do another dozen. I can make deviled, I know, she's telling me, hurry up, deviled eggs and egg salad. A code came up the second time I tried to use it. My sensor's out. I Googled it. I got a sensor ordered. I know how to change the sensor. We're going to video it when that sensor comes in, and I'm going to fix that Instapot. Yeah, you are. Okay, let's wrap this up, baby girl. All right, well, kindness is free. And so is subscribing. We thank you, and we love you. And we love you. And send us a friend's request. Yep. Okay? All yeah, right. send us. Oh, did you hear me go, yeah? Yeah. You got excited Shelly, for a minute. Janice, send us, send us a friend. Friends. Friends. Send us a friend's request, Oh, yeah, you guys. we didn't, like, shout anybody out. Um, I mean, Terry, yes, we did. And, um, but sorry about that. We just got in here, got back, and we're rolling this video, and I'm going to post it. So um, we got 156, so we'll see how long this posts then. And that's Ohio time. So we love you guys. We Thank love you guys. You. Bye. Bye. Have a great day.